In 1958, Elvis Presley enlisted in the United States Army, a pivotal moment that occurred amidst the peak of his burgeoning career. Fans and his record label mourned his departure as he embarked on military service, driven by a desire to prove himself. Despite his public commitment to duty, Elvis occasionally vented his frustrations toward his manager. Following basic training, Elvis was stationed in Germany for two years, a move that caught many by surprise given his status as a major star. Reflecting on this period, Elvis's friend George Klein questioned the necessity of his military service during a time of peace. While Elvis outwardly maintained composure and spoke graciously about his service, privately he grappled with the challenges of military life. Early mornings and arduous tasks sometimes fueled his discontent, leading to occasional criticism of his manager, Colonel Parker, for not intervening on his behalf. Despite these moments of frustration, Elvis largely endeavored to assimilate as a regular soldier, eschewing special treatment due to his celebrity status. He resided off base and approached his duties with earnestness, earning the respect of his fellow soldiers. Elvis's decision not to join the special services, despite expectations, was influenced by Colonel Parker's strategic vision. Parker aimed to prevent overexposure and maintain Elvis's commercial appeal, opting instead for a hiatus from public performances. Parker's strategy proved successful, as Elvis's career endured relatively unscathed during his military tenure. Moreover, Elvis's commitment to serving as an ordinary soldier garnered admiration from critics and fans alike, fostering newfound respect for the iconic entertainer. 